<laughs> the dumbest thing I've ever done at 1.30 a.m. Yep. Here's something. I don't know if it's a – It's. I'm sure not the dumbest, but a consistent dumb thing that I do every single time Yeah. is I get drunk – at 1.30 a.m., then I order food, and by the time they get there, I fall asleep. <laughs> Every time. Damn. Dude, you're, so you're not, like, pumped, ready to go for the food? I or? am, but then I'm so fucked up that I fall asleep. What has happened? At, like, what happens after that? Like, do you get woken up by a doorbell or knocking? Or Sometimes, they... if I'm lucky, but I'm typically a deep sleeper, so there's been times where you wake up, and it's just they leave it at the door. They just leave it, and then you wake up the next morning. <laughs> like, I, why did I order fucking... <laughs> Why did I order a thirty pack and Cheetos and yeah. a piece of cake? Yeah. <laughs> like Jesus. Yeah, who ordered this birthday cake? That's kind of fucked yeah, up. Yes, yeah. I've been known to do that. Been yeah, notorious. Well, yeah, it's it. awfully tough to do it now too because it's so easy to deliver. Because you can just do it on an app. You That's don't even a dangerous to... game. Dude, you can do so much stuff when you're fucked up. You can order all this stuff to yourself. You can get fucked up. You get married to a whore. You can do a lot of stuff fucked yeah. up now. It's it's unbelievable. You do it through an app. You don't even you have do to that call. Sober. You don't even have to call a place anymore. Yeah. How else would you be able to order Wawa from your house if it wasn't for just pressing a few buttons when you're all fucked up on mushrooms, uh, yeah. ketamine, whatever you're doing? Yeah. And, they're they're uh, really creating so many um, opportunities for us to never come outside again. Like you just you can you can. Uh, DoorDash fast food now. You yeah, know? yeah, and it, it's it, it, it's I keep on telling my battle axe to delete that fucking app. It's, what do you uh, think the the uh, dumbest thing you've ever done? One thirty a.m. Um, me and my buddy pulled a uh, storm drain out of the middle of a street, and there was cops standing right there, and there was about a five by five hole in the middle of the street. Yeah, we didn't see a problem with it. Um, yeah, well, you guys were just bringing it back to the house. We were just trying to return it to its rightful owner, which was a guy that ran a chop shop about a few blocks over. His name was uh, <laughs> his name was Dennis, and uh, <laughs> those things are solid steel. And yeah, they are. Yeah, so he was going to pay us fifty bucks for it. So we're walking back from the bar, and he was open, and uh, it was like probably one thirty, two o'clock in the morning. And my buddy just goes up, and we, if anything, alerted the town of Anvil, Pennsylvania, that they had a problem that these things could just, just get pulled out. They weren't, yeah. they weren't bolted. They weren't locked <laughs> into the ground. I love how that's your defense. Your Honor, you know, we're, <laughs> we're getting to the bottom of, of these issues, and we we wanted to let you guys know you got some real real infrastructure problems here. Yeah, you do. And uh, these things were not safely secured to this pothole-ridden road, and we were simply just trying to pull it out and put it on your doorstep at the police station. And also, three cops just standing there doing nothing. I think you either need to lay somebody off. Taxpayers aren't getting their money's worth. I could so, just picture you just dropping it off at the front of the police station like, you're welcome. <laughs> Well, my buddy, Get this drunk guy out of here. My buddy pulled it out. He didn't even have time to put it down before the cop came over to him. He was like, what the fuck are you doing? And he was just like a deer in headlights. He's like, I don't know. And then they asked He was like, him, I'm going home. And he just <laughs> he dove in. I hope that he just... I really wish he just took off running with it and they fucking tackled him. We would have gotten on an episode yeah. of Live PD. It would have been great. But the um, fucked up thing is that he uh, actually gave them his correct information. So he got a fine in the mail. I was like, dude, you were so fucked up. You told them you didn't have your ID. They said okay just give me your social security number and they wrote it down on paper i was like you could have fucking told them anything oh my god and then you probably could have had a problem to deal with later he got a 350 dollar fine in the mail for uh like in what do they lewd behavior i love the word lewd lewd, lewd. behavior this gentleman was lewd he was lewd. It sounds like Trump wrote it. He was lewd. <laughs> he was acting lewd. He was so lewd. Yeah, so lewd. Yeah, this storm drain, we said, this guy's lewd. So lewd. We're going to tax them. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. 